Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Euro Truck Simulator 2. We're still making, you know, bit by bit of the money that we need to buy our, n our own truck. And right now we want to discover more places. Uh, and last time we said that we would do the leans to Bratislava uh, with another <laughs> reservoir tank. Because, well, like I said, we want to uncover more stuff. And holy moly, look at all the extra things you can get. Uh, with DLCs, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Turkey. I can get the rest of Italy, I guess. Um, Spain, Portugal, the rest of France, I believe. Maybe here? No, actually, no, because it's not white. Norway, Sweden, the rest of Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Russia, Finland. Damn. Okay, let's go for Bratislava. So uh, we uncover that city. And it's going to be a different place as well. You know, a different locale. And look at all those Volkswagens there. Oh, it's night time. Oh, nice lights. Right, so we have... Yeah, another tank. Let's get out of here. Increase my engine braking. I always like to have it pretty much on full. Turn left. And there's no one here. Well, there's a truck coming. Sorry about that. I'm taking my turns very wide. <laughs> I think I'm still used to uh, American Truck Simulator. Hello. Alright, come on. Power! Power! I mean, eh, this engine sound it isn't so bad, it's just... The transitions are just weird. Jeez, that was a bit too aggressive from me there. I've got a radio up there. I'm not sure what that is. Some sort of maybe lights or climate control? I uh, I'm not sure. I think it's lights. What else do we have? Lots of buttons down there. Hotel. Stay right and then turn right. No tell motel. Oh, excellent. We got a green. Turn right. I think we can just turn like this and I'll be fine. Yep. We'll need to stay on the left there. Because we'll be going left. So I suppose this will be a nighttime ride, although we can find a spot to rest. We've got three hours to go. Oh, we only have eight hours for this load, so I don't think we could do that in time really if we went to sleep. Stay left. So it's just gonna have to be a uh, go straight night delivery. I don't think this thing has. Oh jeez, I don't think this thing has a retarder. Because I'm using it, and nothing happens. Power. I hate that the engine just goes completely silent when it shifts. It's so weird. Okay, I'll have to go left. So, 200 kilometers to get to our destination. Aha. Go straight. 
straight. And we're gonna have to go across the border. And then have a different environment. That's pretty exciting. There we go. Let's be a good boy and actually drive on the right where we're supposed to. 80. For some reason I thought the I thought the European trucks were limited by law by like to like 90, not 80. I mean, the, the speed limit, not limited, but the speed limit was 90 for them. Huh. I'm pretty sure they drive 90 over here. Oh well. Or the A1. It's getting stormy outside. Not in the game. <coughs> Here in real life. <laughs> ah, jeez. It's very, very dark. Ah, is it gonna be like a freeway all the way? Probably not all the way, but... We'll see. It's almost midnight. An hour to midnight. Not really sure what happened to the traffic when we had our very first job. You remember how much traffic there was when we were exiting the uh, the industrial area, and now we don't really see nearly as much traffic as before. I like all those lights up there. That's pretty cool. Parking and fuel. What? Did it say 700 meters? But it, there's nothing on the map. Yeah, half a kilometer now. Oh, it is up there, I think. Yeah. Out of my way. Oh, yeah, there is. But we don't need that because we usually get trucks with enough fuel to actually uh, get to our destination. And I think this this time, yeah, it's no different because we've got just below half half a tank full of fuel, and we only have 126 kilometers to go, or kilometers if you want. But kilometers is really the correct term because it's not. Uh, you know, with kilometers, it's not meters, it's meters. <laughs> what does that say? Verhoer? Europe. Verhoek. Oh, this guy will have to go left. Come on, I gave you the space. Yeah, I don't like the fact how... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go straight. Jeez, okay. That was unexpected. I don't like how aggressive they are sometimes in their maneuvers. Especially the trucks. Um, you know, he had plenty of time to very slowly creep over to the left. Oh, there's more lights on the other side there. What's going on? And sometimes they're just not aggressive enough when they should be. Oh, we got 90 kilometers to go. Gotta get that money up for our truck. I'm not sure what we're gonna buy it, because we've got plenty of options. We've got Mercedes, Iveco, uh, Scania's, Renault's, uh, Man trucks. Not sure what, what else is there. No, he's gonna speed up. No. There's 
there's eight acres to the right. What's going on here? Whoa, what the freak was that? What? How did I crash? What was that? Did you see that? Okay, that was a absolutely bizarre bizarre bug. I saw something weird happen up in the distance and then all of a sudden did you see that that truck just flipped around, teleported? What the heck? It's fortunate we only got uh, billed for 160 euros, but what in the hell was that? Okay, I don't think we Go can straight. catch this anyway, so eh. That was absolutely insane. Three percent, brilliant. They're gonna be uh, taking that off our paycheck. Nice, love it. Well, that's a cool sound. Does it actually animate, or is the switch? There it is. Power. That was bizarre. I feel like I've I've just played European Truck Simulator 2 multiplayer. That's how people drive there. Take the first exit. Ah yes, roundabouts. You don't. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted the engine brake. Exit now. That's what you don't usually see in the U.S. There are some roundabouts in the U.S. It's just that people don't really know how to use them, so it's. I think it's more more danger than not because they built roundabouts, but they refuse to educate people in the proper use. Of them. God, the, the engine braking just sounds horrible. I need to get some uh, sound modes. Oh yeah, uh, as far as sound modes are, are, are concerned, I found uh, quite a few of them for the engines. But unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be like a complete collection. So there's, you know, a bunch of different makes and types and so on and so forth. So I've decided that when we buy our new truck, I will see what kind of an engine we've bought and uh, I will get the sound mod for that so it sounds better. So, you know, it'll be double nice to get our own uh, truck because it'll be ours and we will have... Oh, oh, oh. It's just random roadblocks. What the heck is going on? Yeah, um... And we will have the better sounding engines. Police over there as well. No idea. Well, we gotta remember that these maps are all quite old by now. So, uh, I'm guessing they, they tried to do something interesting with it, but, you know, just put a random police car there with lights on and a couple of cones and that's it. So that was the beginning times of doing some unexpected interesting stuff on the road. And now that we're all spoiled with, you know, proper diversions and crashes and so on again. Look at this. What the heck? What? What? Um... Okay? I do not get this stuff. <laughs> I'm not using any mods for this. This is... This is the stock game. It's, uh, bizarre. And before you say, oh yeah, that happens in Europe all the time, doesn't it? Checkpoints. No. I've never, ever seen roads just blocked like this for no apparent reason. On... on there was one extreme, extremely rare occasion. Oh, there was a crash here. One extremely rare occasion where there was a checkpoint on my way home. And that was only... That was only because there was a, a, a post robbery that had happened near that, uh, near that place where I was. And... Uh, 
they were trying to catch, I suppose, the criminals, so they were stopping the cars going there. Um, I didn't really have to stop because I was driving my grandma. Uh, so I just slowed down. They just said, you know, keep going because <laughs> I'm pretty sure my grandma did not rob the post office. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with all this police around here. This is, I mean, that doesn't happen in Europe like that. Maybe it's just a coincidence that there was a bunch of random stuff that was supposed to be, you know, sprinkled on the roads every now and then. Slow down to 50. And now it's 80 again. So that's, that's brilliant. Wait a second. I, I've forgotten. We've... Uh, We've left Austria already, haven't we? <coughs> oh, yeah. Bratislava, there we go. It's very dark, these roads. There we go, we are in Bratislava. Budapest. going there. There we go. Oh. Okay. So now we're gonna have to get through this. Oh shoot. Well I can't. I gotta wait. I'm blocking the road now. That's really bad. Are you letting me through? Thank you. Thank you. my clown horn. That's really embarrassing. Stock sounds suck. Oh, they suck so bad. Okay, so we're in some sort of industrial area here. Uh, where do we go? To the left there. And the more dealership we find... Better is gonna be, because we're gonna be able to, uh, you know, buy different trucks and such. Okay, so we're going left here. Turn left. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go right. Turn right. That's a fire truck. Turn right. Turn right. And then left there. Well, that's a Mercedes dealership. Turn left. Wow, that guy was really tailgating the trailer there. Oh, it's another one of these, isn't it? Ugh. Bit of an annoying parking spot. Oh no, this one's different. I'm thinking it's gonna be a ramp down here? No, it's not a ramp. Okay, this is actually a pretty easy parking job here. Yep. And then Just reverse it in. Looking at the other mirror as well. Oh, I'm a little bit off center there. Let's do it like this. There we go. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Alright. Ah, oh, almost level four. Okay, so now we've got Linz to Salzburg to Graz. 
Okay, that we can go to Brno in Czech Republic. Twenty tons of fertilizer. Let's do that. And actually, I should have gone and slept first, so we wouldn't do everything at night because it's pretty dark. Oh, we got a Mercedes now. Hmm, that's cool. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. I like that sound. It's certainly a little bit better than usual. Okay, it has a retarder. It's a bit heavier now. With all those tons of fertilizer back there. Get ready to turn right. Um. Turn right. I would like to sleep somewhere so we would drive in daytime. Oh, okay. Daytime. But I don't think that's gonna be possible. Let's check. Uh, we've got eight hours to go now. I mean, to go. We've got three and a half hours to go, but we've got eight hours available, so we cannot really rest, unfortunately. And it's two in the morning, which means that, yeah, pretty much we'll only get there in sort of very early morning. It would be nice to see all these places in daytime. But yeah, I suppose that's not really possible right now. Because that was stupid. I should have gone and rested for... Actually, you can't. Because I don't have my own truck. Huh. So I can't really rest. And speed... I mean, I can rest, but I cannot not take a job and just speed up time, can I? I don't think that's possible. Hey, wait a second. It's weird. I could swear I put um, high beams on this button, but it does nothing. Nothing! And right there, where your head is, before the Big Bang, there was nothing there. And outside, where that squirrel is, nothing! Nicer sounding stock engine sound. Oh, I can actually go 90 here. There you go. Power! Ninety. Not really sure if those guys are going 90. Yeah, they seem to be, yeah. Uh I like all the little lights on the dash and everything. That's a bit of a squeeze. the road will narrow. Aha. Something we are going on with the sound. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. My foot is pressed hard down, and uh, this truck is actually electronically limited to 90 kilometers per hour. Which I believe a lot of them are. So 
111 kilometers to go with the fertilizer. I just wish it was daytime so we could see and enjoy stuff and it's 80 here. Brilliant. I think we should be fine with 85, right? I believe they give you a ticket at 10 over. Go straight. sirens outside, but not in the game. <laughs> power! Well, not too much power, because then we'll get a... we'll get a nice little bill. In points. Which, unfortunately, don't get you any nice stuff. Paying attention that there was a pretty steep, well, a uh, pretty big corner coming up. I would hate if we got a ticket there because you need to go 40. That would be ridiculous. Okay, set our cruise control to 80. I'm not going to push it with 85. I wonder if that's modeled as well. Well, probably is. Go straight. Yep, I'm going straight. getting to daylight. Yeah, it's kind of relaxing just driving around. Even though the sound of this engine is a bit weird. No. So it almost pulsates. Very odd. Okay, let's turn off cruise control because right. we're going right and there. Turn right. Turn right. Okay, retarder and everything. We need to slow down. God, it sounds bad. I need mods. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice little sunrise, isn't it? That looks lovely. That looks really cool. Here we go. want to make enough money to buy our own truck. That would be great. Rocklau? Rotslau? Turn left. Alright. We're again at the 
acres or working for eight acres. Must be a multinational company in Guamar. You have arrived at your destination. Okay, so we drop it off there. <coughs> That's pretty simple. Just gonna go around here. Oh yeah, even simpler. It's all free over here. this and then back up over correct it a little bit okay that looks pretty good oops 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 and what want me to do that Leaning out the window from the driver's side. There we go. Alright, another job well done. And now we're level four. Bim, bim, bim. There we go. Excellent. And now we are working towards this. So we need uh, flammable stuff. Gases. There we go. Let's apply that. All right, and check our email. We can help you grow. We couldn't help but notice your steady earnings, and we would like to assist you with developing your potential even further. Your credit limit has been raised to f half a million. Nice. We might actually take that offer and uh, buy our own truck. We'll see. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.